Hey, what's going on, everybody? Uh, I was over in the shop. Been busy the past few days. Uh, been working on the Lark. Fortunately, I didn't do any filming on it. But basically, still working on the floor pans. I got 90% of everything done on the driver's side to this point. But just kind of give you an update everything's going on. Uh, the 2011 Durango. Uh, the owner ordered new head gaskets. Put them on the correct way. Put them back together. Um, had a guy come by to tune it because of the cam that was in it. It's up and running now. So good for that. And the owner is still kicking himself in the butt for not putting head gaskets on right, but it happens. So anyway, that's up and going and running. Uh, I think the last time we talked about the Chrysler SRT8, we had just put the engine in it, uh, had open headers. Um, it is now done. So it's all nice parked in the driveway. We got the exhaust system back underneath it. Uh, pursuit car, doing well. Um, all that we need to do that right now is I need to get a high pressure Power steering line for it has got a leak in it and it's starting to get a little bit worse now so we're going to go ahead and get that ordered other than that car is doing great ethan and i are both enjoying it back on the lark so if y'all remember i started working on the floor pans on it um did some more welding on it um filled in the big hole that was up there so that's in there now so all that's closed up Got little sections in here all closed up now. So she's almost done to a point, minus priming and putting the sealer on and everything else. Been working back here in the back. Got all this done. And uh, still running into a lot of rust. Everything that I tap with a hammer or whatever else seems solid, but as soon as I weld on it, it blows through. So I've been dealing with that a little bit. Uh, found some more rust coming up through here. Um, didn't see it the first time. They had a sealer over the top of all that. I didn't know if it was like that from the factory or if the previous owner did it. So we cut all that out. So I got a new plate in here now that I stick out a weld. I got to do some more welding back here. Uh, got my little pieces made to go here. And between doing some cleaning up on some welds, that's gonna be about it for this side. And then we're getting ready to start over here. So we the other day cut the rest of the metal that was sitting through here. We got that out to where the seam is. That's where the new floor pan is going to butt up against. Finally got the old body mount, what was left of it, out. That was a little bit of a nightmare, but it's out now. So we're trying to get this side prepped. I still need to go over here on this side, get all this cut out, get all that cut out. This side's a little worse than the driver's side. So definitely going to have to do some more patchwork. And cut some more metal out there <laughs> so been working on it steady do as much as i can right now um still having problems with my left foot and ankle went to doctors monday or last monday and basically it's part of my rheumatoid arthritis i got going on now um it's making its way into my left ankle area so I've been dealing with some issues with that. So we're trying to try some things out to see if it's gonna alleviate some of the, the pain and stuff. So it's been kind of hard for me to stay up on my feet for a long period of time, but I'm still trying to do what I can do and uh, just kind of move forward with it. And then Ethan had to go Saturday. I think it was Saturday, yeah. Or was it Sunday? Sunday and made a little road trip because you know he bought that other honda that's going to need the frame pulled on it a little bit in the front but he did pick up another front for it 
So he's gonna be working on that. He's got to, there's a bunch of uh, spot wells that need to be drilled out to get to the parts that he needs. As soon as he does all that, then the Honda's probably gonna go to the frame shop, get straightened out, this new piece put in, and get an alignment done on it, and he should be good to go on that. Um, Ethan also started cleaning the rust off of the rear axle we're gonna be putting in. This is a Ford 88. And I need to get it all cleaned up and everything so we can get, get it shortened where it centers the chunk up. So I gotta figure out where that's gonna put me at on the rear end wise with the tires that we have now. So hopefully everything works out on that. Um, I also saw where also, if I wanted to leave it like it is, I can actually shift the motor over probably about an inch and an inch and a half towards the passenger side, if that's the right I want to go. And that way there's no, I think what I read on it was no more than two inches or two and a half inches in either direction and I should be okay, but I'm just doing research on it now, so don't hold me to it. But once we get the floor pan on the passenger side, we still gotta get the 300 in here so I can get the motor pulled on it. This is because I need the motor mounts for the mock-up motor so I can get those done and get the trans mount done. And then once I do that, I can pull all that out <coughs> and the trans tunnel and finish welding all that up, go back and clean up a lot of the other welds, smooth some things out. So the game plan is hopefully this weekend, we get the passenger side done, to as far as we can go with it on the floor pans on that. Uh, retest fit the passenger door, make sure all that's gonna line back up. So hopefully this weekend, we can get all that done and make sure I film this time and uh hopefully have a video coming out soon after that sometime next week but other than that guys is going to be a short one and um i'm gonna go back inside and rest for a little bit but y'all have a good one a safe one and we'll see you down the road